What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 5.3 quart Cook's Essentials air fryer and today I'm gonna make air fryer potato chips. Now this is not something that I'm gonna do all the time but you know what? I feel like making some homemade potato chips. I've never done it in my air fryer before so let's give it a whirl. I know I'm going to use, I have three potatoes, I washed them off by the way, and um, these are rusted potatoes. I'm going to keep the skin on, um, and uh, we're going to slice them up into thin slices. I have this little slicer here, any mandolin will do just fine, or if you're that good at cutting, you can. You don't need that, but just makes it easier with that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Since this is large, uh, larger potato than um, I would have liked, but this was, you know, in my refrigerator, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half to just make it easier for me to slice up. I'm going to use this little gripper to grip the potato so I don't hurt myself. I'm just going to get to slicing. point. I ain't gonna lie guys, I probably should have used my nicer dicer, but I'm gonna make the best of it. Alright, so this is like one and a half potatoes. I think that's enough anyway. So, we have enough to begin. You want your slices to look like this as much as possible. See? And then a lot of them didn't come out like that, but that's fine. We're just having some fun. Oh, this one's a thick one, but that's all right. Let's see. Yeah, this one's pretty good. All right, you get the point. So I'm going to put them in a bowl right now, and I'm going to soak them in water. So let me get my bowl out. Since I didn't slice it good, I'm going to just hand pick the ones that I think are chip worthy <laughs> alright this looks like enough alright so I'm gonna put these to soak for uh, 15 minutes let me put some water in it alright I got it in water and that's to take the starch out of it and um, so we're gonna do this for 15 minutes and halfway I'm gonna drain it and refill it with water set timer for 15 minutes 15 minutes, starting now. Alright, we're still in our 15 minutes, but it's halfway around like 8 minutes um, left. So I uh, flushed out the water and put a new set of water in there. You can see, you'll notice the water is a lot clearer now. I'm just going to put a pinch of vinegar in there. And some salt. And of course you don't have to put salt in there if you don't want to. And then you just twirl it around. Just to make sure it gets in there. Just twirl it around. In fact, let me just use this end. Just give it a mix. Yeah, something like that. And just continue to go with your 15 minutes. Alright guys, next up I have my induction Copper Chef stove top out because what I don't see a lot of people doing, you actually have to boil your chips for about two to three minutes and then you dry it. So, so let me get my induction ready Todd English pot out. Isn't that nice? I just set a timer for three minutes. Water is at a, a medium. 
him on my um, stove, my uh, induction cooktop. So I'm ready to put the uh, potatoes in. So now we drain it. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group on Facebook one time. So now I'm gonna lay the chips out one by one on a paper towel. The price we pay to eat healthy. 20 minutes, starting now. All right, guys, I set a timer for 20 minutes. And what you're looking at right here is about one potato. So if it's just you, one potato will be just fine. Should be. Unless you're a beast. <laughs> I also put a layer of paper towel on the top as well. So as you saw, the timer was for 20 minutes. So after then, I'm going to uh, hit it with some olive oil and we're ready to put in air fryer finally. All right, guys, we're getting there. Now, what I'm going to do is spray a little bit of olive oil on both sides. I'm just going to do like this real quick, and then I'm just going to flip them. All right, so now I just get the other side. And guys, you don't have to do it that way. I just do it that way to, pe to have peace of mind knowing I got both sides evenly with oil. But you don't have to do it that way. You could spray it in the air fryer basket. That do look kind of sexy. Look at that. Okay. Now, guys, I don't really know the time because I'm going to use the preset. So let me hit that. Oh, turn it on and hit that. So that's, let's see what that is. 300 for 16 minutes. Okay. Let's do it. I'll shake it at least halfway. In fact, I'm going to take a look at it at 10 minutes just to make sure everything is good. All right, guys. So 16 minutes is up. I shook it at eight minutes. I shook it real good. And this is what we got. So I'm going to put it in a uh, bowl and uh, we'll give it a taste. All right. They don't look bad. But let's taste it. Let's look for that crunch. Hopefully it's there. You first. Got it? All right. Okay. Yeah. Definitely add more salt than I did. I taste a little bit of salt. I guess it needed more. Or I could add salt now if I want to, right? But this is just another experiment. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it again. It's something cool to do with Ashton one day or something. But, yeah. So there it is, guys. Um, what do I want to say before I go? Oh, yes. Um, make sure you... Uh, I'll put a link in the description to my air fryer group. Um, we have over 25,000 members in there. Um, we share best practices, recipes. We have not only the Cook's Essentials air fryer in there, we have every air fryer in there. So if you have an air fryer, I don't care which one it is, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have at least a dozen of them in there. I don't even care which one you have. So click that link, join, because it's the place to be. But hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. Let's cook him a duck.